Welcome back to Dr. Josefina's Way, and I'm Laura Gutrich. Today we are talking about how to rejuvenate your muscles, or, you know, I, I thought about this, or just keep them going, you know? Yes, yes. Because um, it's up to us. And you talk, you talk about how it's um, physical and biological. Yes. So biological, is that the, the part where we have, we have no control over, and then the physical is what we do? Okay, so the biological is the part you can control. You can do something about it. You, the chronological aging, the physical aging, is the time you were born. Okay, so you, I had it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, we can <laughs> fix it. Uh, so biological, okay, so when you were born, then that's chronological aging. Like your chronological age, you just turned 50, right? Okay, yeah. And I'm in my, in my 60s. So that's our chronological age, our mm -hmm. physical age. Biologically, you are younger than most women because you in shape, you work out, you eat right. So uh, biologically speaking, we are younger than a, the person your age or my age. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but but there is something we can do even about. I mean, there's no, there's nothing we can do about the clock ticking issue. Exactly. Say, yeah. But we can reverse what the natural Ex process would normally be. Yes. By yes. exercising. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because people say, and you probably hear this a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm all, I'm too old for exercise. Well, I'm too old to do this. Well, I'm too old to do mm -hmm. that. Chronological aging, the year you were born, ha they ha the years that you have has nothing to mm -hmm. do uh, with whether you age faster or not. It has right. to do with your lifestyle. Right. Well, there's, there's, how, do you think there's some genetic factor in that? Or do you think it's all about lifestyle and then just the, the time? Yeah, remember when we did a show called Epigenetic? Mm -hmm. Epigenetic? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. And it, when we were talking about mm -hmm. that show was that you can change your genes, that you can change your genetic. That okay. people will not have the excuse anymore. Well, my mom has mm -hmm. diabetes mm -hmm. or my mom, my family had a cardio cardiovascular problems. We can change that. Of course, that's okay. more advanced, but right. eventually that's what's going to happen. Right. And it's happening right now. And you see, you look at yourself and you look at myself. We don't represent people our age when your mom and your grandmother were alive. That's you know true. what I mean? That's true. We mm -hmm. have changed. This is what is called the new 30s and the new 40s. Right. But why? Because we have changed. Our genetic mm -hmm. is better than because we do the right thing. It's things. sort of like an evolution if you exactly. think about it. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. So we're actually changing the physical makeup of our genetics. Exactly. And not only that, that we can remember when that in those epic genetic shows mm -hmm. that not only has to do with you know eating right, resting, right. exercising, right. but mental. Oh, remember yes. that? Yes. That if have our positive attitude, we can change our life by changing the way we think. Right. And and, and people that have that excuse and um, that their family has diabetes or you know they're obese or whatever yes. the case may be that just gives them the excuse to throw in the towel exactly. and um, they think it's out of their hands exactly. but we know that that's not the case that's not the case mm -hmm. that is not the case and uh, especially you I'm, I'm so glad we're doing this show because you know the belief system before used to be that the, the muscles are only for locomotion Right. Your muscles are attached to your bones mm -hmm. and you can walk. I remember learning that in grammar school. Right. But now we know that the muscles have a lot of other functions besides us walking. Right. They actually burn fat. Yes. Yes. They, so they make our bodies more efficient. Exactly. More your source of energy. Have. You get mm -hmm. your energy from your muscles. Yeah. I Be find that hard to believe. But yes. I mean, I believe it. Yes. But I think it's strange. Yes. Because you wouldn't think that your energy for, would come from muscles. Exactly. It's, your, it's like your, you know, your, 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 your engine, mm -hmm. you know, with your mm -hmm. heart and your muscle, that makes you move. And you see, the, more, the stronger your muscles are, the more, like you say, more fat you burn, more energy you have, you feel better. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of the, I'm, I'm excited about this one. One of the greatest benefits, and this is what I tell my clients all the time, you have to lift weight. You don't have to be a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. But you lifting weight is one of the greatest things because what happened, Laura, as people age, the muscle start getting smaller and smaller right. and smaller. So what happened with the skin? 
Oh, that's how we Then get you that. have that empty yeah. space and then you see people with their skin falling all over the place. Mm -hmm. But if you work them out and you make them big, you don't have the skins hanging. Oh. <laughs> the added benefit of having muscles. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you know, if you want your legs not to be saggy, you right. got to have those muscles in your legs. Work them hard. Right, yes. You know, you yes. don't want this to be hanging. You got to work mm -hmm. your tricep. And Absolutely. you have to work it hard. Yes. Uh -huh. Work it good. <laughs> It is important. <laughs> and a lot of people just don't realize that not only does it physically look better, uh -huh. you know, to have strong, mu lean muscles, but it actually is healthier for you. Absolutely. And it, it, it only makes sense that, you know, our bodies um, produce muscles, the, the more physical things you do, to make you be able to do those things, exactly. your body is compensating by making muscles, exactly. so it just makes you more able to to live your life and do things that you normally, it just makes you stronger. Exactly, and uh, you know, you're healthier, you're more active, you're stronger, you're more mm -hmm. powerful, you can lift things. Mm -hmm. The other day I went to an office and the, the, a lady could not lift a chair, a oh, chair, yep. and I said, I can do it! <laughs> 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 I volunteered, I went, woo, pow! <laughs> So you need to work your muscle, and it, you have to lift, the, for, especially for women. I get that question a lot from women. Mm -hmm. You know, you start with five pounds and three pounds, yes, but you're not going to spend the rest of your year with three, four pounds. You have to increase the weight, because like what Laura, you were saying, the way you build your muscle, you have to break it. So we, when you exercise, you know, with heavy weight, and then you feel sore, you break the muscle, and then they, they recuperate by growing, and that's how you mm -hmm. grow your muscle. Mm -hmm. So that's a good pain. Oh yes, that's the pain that you feel after the workout. Exactly. Is muscles um, rebuilding. Rebuilding themselves. And then you have to rest. Okay. Because if you don't, you know, like we were saying, eating right, exercising and rest is very critical for the, for muscle development. Right. Because that's when they recuperate, re rejuvenate, they rebuild. Mm -hmm. If you sore, your legs or your arms are, like the other day my arms were sore, so I didn't work my arms because I had to let them rest so they rebuild, they grow. Okay, because you don't want to be exercising something that is in the process of, of really. rejuvenating. Exactly. You give it Ex its chance. Exactly. And that's, I guess, why um, they call it a, a, a like a good hurt. Yeah, exactly. Because it means that you did your job and your, I like your muscles are building. <laughs> I like it, baby. I can totally understand why. Um, but you talk about the other reasons why people can lose their muscles, and you talk about hormonal yes. imbalances as being yes. one of them. Yes. Um, so, so what is your suggestion there? Because, like, for women in particular, I think we go through um, menopause yes. or whatever they call it. And um, do you think that it's important to address the hormonal issues? Or Absolutely. Number one, and work out. Mm -hmm. I don't take any hormones. I never have anything. Okay, so. But I started bodybuilding in my late 50s. So you think that addresses it? Oh, absolutely. Because your muscle, they work on that area. Your okay. me me metabolic system. Right. And your hormonal system. What happened, Laura, is. When we young, we active, and mm -hmm. then uh, people started, you know, aging. They started slowing down, and so it's the opposite. The more you age, the more active you have to become. Okay. Because it's supposed to be the reverse. You age, and you feel better. You feel younger. You feel excited. You mm -hmm. have more knowledge. You have wisdom. You have more money. You have everything. Right. And then you're gonna drop dead and yeah, die. I, know. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that part does suck. <laughs> <laughs> no for us. It's the opposite. Fight right? the aging process. Absolutely. Get to the gym. <laughs> and you gotta reverse it. Yes. And the beautiful thing mm -hmm. is that we're living in such a great time because science proves that mm -hmm. we can reverse it, we can change it through nutrition, exercise, yes. rest and meditation, relaxing, no stress, watching the show, following us on Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, you name it. Yes. <laughs> You, anything else? Um, I think we covered the whole muscle Yeah, tell them issue. to get up. Get up and yes. go to the gym. Get off the sofa. Okay, let's, get, let's give them a double bicep. <laughs> 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 Bye. Bye, baby. Bye. Mwah. We love you. Yes. Facebook, Twitter, everything. Bye. Bye.